everyone. It's Simmer Kelly here. Um, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video um, as you're watching it. <laughs> um, but I am bringing you a speed build that I did not know what to call it yet. So that's why it says I don't know yet in the corner <laughs> as the name. But uh, I did name it in the end. It's called Brittleton Beige. Uh, the house was built in Brittleton Bay. And um, I named it Beige because it's a beige house. <laughs> and I actually got the inspiration off of Pinterest. Because I was looking through Pinterest for some ideas of some houses. And I had came across this one house. And I was like, ooh, I really want to, like, you know, try to copy that in The Sims. So I did. But I didn't copy it exact because I still wanted to be, like, in my own creation, like, in my own way. So I didn't copy it exact, but I did do it by, like, idea. So. But I was really proud of this house. Like, I think this was maybe my best one yet. Maybe, maybe not. But I do have, like, a lot of creations. Like, I have, like, over a hundred creations on my gallery. So I don't know if that's, like, the best one. <laughs> but I was very proud of this one. Uh, especially the interior-wise. But, yeah. Oh, and also, guys, this video is literally over 20 minutes long. <laughs> so I, I'm really just, like, shocked that I have to do a 20-minute voiceover. So I really don't know what to say. But we're just going to wing it because I have to do it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, and then also you're going to see a few pauses. I think it's only, like, two pauses in the video. It's only because I was trying to, like, listen to music at the same time as building it, so <laughs> I paused a few times, but it's not that big of a deal. It's still a good video. I'll still watch it. But, um, yeah. Oh, this is where I was trying to do the, the roof coloring, but I keep that one, the black one, because on the, the picture, it was this really cute roof color, but I couldn't copy it in The Sims, I mean, because we have, like, these plain Jane roof roof uh, roof swatches I mean that you use pretty much like in every build <laughs> so yeah I couldn't do that and yeah oh and also trying to do some things with the windows uh, I, th I think I was trying to change the door because I was feeling like it was it wasn't looking good but then like as I was changing up the windows and stuff I was like, okay, yeah, blue windows, blue, blue windows, I mean, not blue window, but blue door is pretty good. Because um, in the picture, it had, uh, the windows had, like, blue shilling, shillings, shutters, no, not shillings, shutters, what, shutters on it. Sorry, guys, that is a movie in the background. <laughs> I literally dropped myself, but, um, yeah, it had, like, the blue shutters on it, along with, like, the blue door. But I was like, nah, that's not looking good. So I just changed it to regular white windows and a blue door. Basic, simple, that. That is, that's, that's what it was. But, um, yeah. Sorry I keep saying, but, um, it's just because, like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> and I'm trying to, like, think of things, like, as the video goes on. Because who's going to sit through a 20-minute video with music in the background? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't. I mean, you could easily just literally turn the volume all the way down and just watch the video, but any who's I mean, who has time to do that? So, yeah. But yeah, I'm just trying to wait until we get into the house cuz then I will have some things to talk about then, but right now we're just doing the outside. But while I was doing the inside, um, I didn't copy the inside exactly, like, off of the house that I was looking at. Um, I actually did the layout differently. Because for the simple fact is, it had, like, some things in there where it was too difficult to try to recreate it in The Sims. So you could see that I was trying to do it at first, but I just, like, um, deleted it <laughs> and just, like, did it in my own way. But yeah. Oh, and here I was trying to do like the side porches. 
uh, in that door right there that you guys see, um, that actually is a study room. So in the study room, they have like the door there you can go out to like the the porch. Oh, and th when we get to the backyard part, I didn't know what too much to do with the backyard because it was small. So it wasn't really too much to do, but I still like added a pool and that um water slide thing that you get in the backyard stuff pack. Um and then I just added like a table, a table with the umbrellas on it and uh, some flower pots and then that was pretty much it. <laughs> I was like that's as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Cuz I spent like an hour and like 50 minutes on this build. I mean, that's that's not a lot of time. It's actually pretty pretty fast to build at that time, but for this video to be sped up, it's it's pretty long because I have 20 minutes. Like if I, if I was to speed it up any more than that, cuz I speed up at like 550%. But if I was to speed it up more than that, then it would have like kept lagging and so I was like this is like the best it's gonna get it's 20 minutes <laughs> so I was like crap but here we are we're doing it we're getting through it work with me guys this is gonna be great <laughs> but yeah this is where I was doing the layout and the um what is this what is that area the foyer the foyer part it does not stay the same um, I do change up the walls to make it more open and then I add like this dining table because I thought it was a cool idea I was like maybe I should add like a dining table in the foyer area like I don't know even though there's another dining table but that's like the more grand dining table and the other one's like a smaller one but yeah oh and this is where I was trying to do something with the doors um, put like both of those two um, doors on each side. I thought it looked really good. I told you guys, I was really proud of this house. <laughs> I was really proud of it. Oh, and I was really proud of the bedrooms too. Like how colorful it was and just like that bed, that bed swatch. And then with those lamps, it was just really good. But yeah. Yeah, see, here's the pause right here. It's only going to last, like, a few seconds. Don't worry. We're going to get straight into it, like, in one, two, three. There we go. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, so this is where I was doing the foyer. And as I was trying to put the, the wallpaper down, I was trying to change it up because I was like, uh-uh, this is looking too closed in. So I was trying to open it up. And so I did. Yeah, so this is where this is how I opened it up. And I just added like the dining table and like this cute rug and stuff and that was the foyer. <laughs> oh, and then also forgot to mention that the, the rug and that table in there that I had placed, I was just placing it just to like lay out where I was going to put everything. Um because I didn't want to like build build the layout and then forget what I was going to do with it. So I just like placed uh, a few things just so I could remind myself that okay, this is going to be the living room. <laughs> this is going to be the dining and then this over here is just like some other little separate room. And then when I was placing the counters in the kitchen, that was just like a base just so I could know okay, this is the kitchen. This is how I'm going to lay it out. But I do still keep the counters, but I just changed the color swatch on them cuz I didn't want like plain white counters in there. But yeah. <sighs> I mean this is a lot to see. like we're we're already like nine minutes nine minutes and thirty seconds into the video and I literally don't know what else to say. I'm just literally going as the video is going. So, you're going to hear me stop talking for a few times. <laughs> but don't worry. It's all coming together. 
And also, guys, if you hear anything in the background, just, I'm sorry. I am very sorry. <laughs> it's just because of the TV, and it's just a little loud, because uh, of certain parts. Um, because someone's watching TV in the background, so that's why it's a bit loud. But, uh, can't really do anything about it, but okay. Oh yeah, this is where we're going to the kitchen. Ooh, and I do like something with the the island where I make it like the round island instead of like a the boxy looking one. I did like the round one. I thought it was really good. Um, I do change that pan hanger on the ceiling. I do change that to a different one after we're like done doing the um, all the rest of the stuff. Oh, and then the fridge. Um. Since I had put the the counter in in the midst of the fridge, you're gonna have to like if you download this house on my gallery, uh, and my gallery is linked in the description, um, cause like <laughs> if I say my name on the gallery, like you guys are just gonna be like, okay, well let me go look that up, but then you're probably not gonna spell it correctly because I mean my my name can be spelled like many different ways, but yeah, that's so why I just said put, it's in the description. Just look and then go download it. But when you do download this house, um, you're gonna have to remove the counter from the fridge because the fridge won't work. I mean, it looked good right here <laughs> as the stage of the house. It looked good, but if you download the house and you play in it, you're gonna have to remove the counter because the fridge won't work. But yeah. Oh, and then also, guys, as you see, the rug is still sitting there after I, like, moved the sink, like, 50,000 times. Um, in the screenshots, I had moved the rug back, so. Plus, you're going to see, like, a lot of different things changed in, in the screenshots. Uh, because I went in behind, behind the scenes, <laughs> as I could say, and uh, changed up a few things. Like, I just, well, not changed up, but added a few things. So, you will see it different things but not really major it's just like little minor things but yeah oh and this is where we do the the dining room um it's kind of like a breakfast area kind of really because it's i mean it has two dining rooms in this in this house but this one's more of like the breakfast area the other one that's like in the foyer is more of like the bigger dining table but yeah but plus this this area of the house, it was just very like long and like rectangular where it was kinda like I didn't know what to do with it, but since the fireplace was placed in the middle, I was like, I mean, we're just gonna have to put the living room right here and then put the, like a dining table on the other side and then I didn't know what to put on the other on the other end. But what I ended up putting was a uh, a piano, and it looked great. It looked great in the end. So I was very proud of that. Yeah. So yeah, this is where I put the piano. And I don't know if I'm going to play in this house myself. I mean, because... Most houses that I build on the gallery, um, I usually don't really play it myself. Um, I guess because I spend so much time building in The Sims rather than actually playing the game itself. Like, if you guys relate to that, like, comment down below. <laughs> Let me know which one day you do bit more of. Do you play the game or do you build? Like, which one do you do? Because me, I build more rather than playing in it. What I think at first... When I had got the Sims 4 first hands, um, I played the game more than I built. I mean, I did try to build a few times, but I sucked at it, like, really bad. So I had to, like, watch a whole bunch of videos on, like, you know, not how to build, but just, like, watch a bunch of people uh, build houses. And it kind of just, like, gave me more inspiration on how to build. So, yeah, but as time went on, I mean, I built a lot of houses, and I you know, build up my skills. I mean, that's pretty much anyone. You know, as you practice more and more, you you know, the better that you get. So, yeah. Oh, and this is the study room, and I thought it was so cute. Like, just the color scheme of it. 
and like how I use the uh, that desk and that chair from the Vintage Glamour Pack. Ooh, I just thought it was like so cute. And then here goes the teen room. Yeah, the teen girls room. Um, usually when I do bedrooms, I don't really know how to do the not not know how to do the bedrooms, but I don't know like which gender to put the bedroom as, so I just like basically just do it based off of whatever family that I'm using for the screenshots. I'll just like do the bedroom, whichever. <laughs> Or, like, whatever I feel like it. Like, I'll probably do a boy's bedroom if I feel like doing one. Or I'll do a girl's bedroom if I feel like doing it. But in this one, I felt like doing a girl's one because I wanted to use that bed swatch. And plus the house was just, like, very feminine. So I wanted to make a feminine bedroom. But, yeah. Oh, and then I also used the same bed in the master bedroom. Um... But not the same color swatch. I mean, it's obviously different, but I do use the same bed. Because I like that bed in their color swatches because it's really cute. And then also you're going to see me do the wallpaper. Uh, I tried to match the wallpaper with the pillows. Um, as you see, it's like that really cute peachy color. But with the walls, like there was nothing that was matching that. So I just made it blue. <laughs> I mean, because the bed was technically blue and like this peachy color so I just like made it blue yeah see you see that that's obnoxious <laughs> that was like a very obnoxious like pinkish reddish color so I just changed it Oh, and also when we get to the bathroom, um, the bathroom is actually just pretty, pretty basic. I mean, all my bathrooms are pretty basic. Um, I mean, because it's a bathroom, I don't really spend much time trying to, like, intricately decorate the bathroom <laughs> as I do the rest of the house. Because, I mean, the only things you do in the bathroom is just literally use the bathroom and take a shower. <laughs> you don't really use that part of the house too much. So I just pretty much did it as basic as possible. Um, but oh, when I had deleted that um, that little stand right there, like that bathroom stand, I had noticed I had deleted the uh, the uh, the shower. And then when I turned the camera, I was like, okay, hold up, I done deleted this whole half of this kitchen part too. <laughs> so I had to like redo everything and then just replace the stuff but it wasn't that serious it was just like a little a little mess up so it looks like we're pretty much done with the inside um now i'm doing the outside putting those pretty pink flowers those are like my favorite flowers um for the gardening <laughs> it's like my favorite flowers and then i just place the mailbox and um that little dump dumps the trash can thing and i just place the flowers on the porch with a mat. Oops. Yeah. And then I place the mat on the other side too. And I don't really do know too much what to do with the with the wraparound porch because I mean <laughs> if you download this house, I mean you you can do whatever you want with the porch. Place whatever you want on there. But when I was doing this house, I didn't know what to place on there. And I was like, we're just going to keep it as basic because, you know, I mean, this is a house. Like, whoever whoever's going to own this house would decorate it themselves <laughs> because I don't know what to do with it. And, yeah, with the, with the backyard part, um, like I said, I just placed a uh, pool and then that water slide thing that you get from the backyard stuff and... Pretty much that was the backyard, <laughs> because I didn't know what to do with it. But it still looks good in the end, especially with all the screenshots and stuff. It looked really good.
But yeah, guys, uh, we are at the end of this video, and we're about to hit screenshots. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.